Hey guys, check it out. This is the Serato 1.9.3 beta. That's right. I said beta. As this says here, do not use it straight out. Don't DJ with it. Just mess with it at home. Don't use it. Don't go gigging with it. Just don't use it when you're out DJing. Like it says, don't use it. So let's see what we got here. So I've been saying this. If you guys want to go back and check out my videos from way back, I've said all along about the sampler. So now we have the extra two sample slots that I've been saying on a DDJ SX2. There's eight pads. Why is there only six samples? Now we got eight. There was room on the screen for it. This should have been done a long, long, long time ago. You know, I mean, like the SX, then the SX2. The SX2 is probably almost obsolete at this stage of the game. Something I'm sure will come around. Finally, you guys did it. Uh, improved MIDI mapping. So it just makes things work a little easier, I guess. Uh, library improvement. Smart crates or sub crates. Command control. Secondary column sort. Oh, stability. They always say stability, but yet it has stability, but it, they also say don't use it in a live performance setting because it's not stable because it's a beta, right? <laughs> um, there's this Serato DJ stuff that you can get all the extras and pay monthly and that. I'm not a fan of that. As someone mentioned to me before too, Rekordbox does it. So does a whole bunch of DAWs. So it does a Photoshop. Everyone wants to nickel and dime you for the rest of the time and wants you to pay monthly. Like, I don't, I'm not into that at all. So, and they've updated my Serato video license. And I got to refresh my license. Okay. So let's hop out of here. Let's see what we have here. Let's go to the library. Let's look at my extended view that I usually like. And of course, I want to look at that goddamn sampler. See that? No more SP6 because it's not an SP6. I don't know why they didn't just rename it an SP8. You know what I mean? But regardless. So I can drag my samples here. Okay. Do I have any samples in here that I can drag? Probably not. But I do have something here. Um, maybe. Just pop that down for a second. We're going to hop in. I just downloaded a whole bunch of tech health loops. So you know what? That's probably gonna we're gonna try this out. So I'm gonna grab this loop here. I'm gonna drag it right over, dump it right there. Uh, we're gonna drag this one over, dump it right there. Drag it over. We'll see how good this works because I've honestly, I'm not a big fan of the sampler or never really was. So we're going to see if they've improved anything at all. And, um, okay, so I haven't used up all eight slots, mind you. So and if you hit there, that's going to pop it open. And, uh, yeah, let's hop on the sampler here and... I'm on the SX2, and we're going to see how this all works. So once again, by default, it wants to put this thing. It doesn't want to loop it. So let's try this again. So, so far, that, and that's the only thing I wish that um, we're going to see. I'm going to check this out. So, 
Now that the sample is loaded up, I'm going to simply shut down the program. I want to see, does it remember my settings? That's what I'm really looking to, f to find out here. If it remembers my settings, I'm pretty happy because that means I can always load my stuff up and have it sitting there. If it doesn't, well, then that's useless. So right off the bat, wait for it to open up. Let's go look at our sampler. And you know what? The fact that it remembered kind of makes me happy. Now we're going to see how effective this actually really works in a live performance setting. Doesn't sound very good to me, to be honest. So, you know, there's my opinion. Once again, okay, you've made improvements to it, but like I said, I'm not a big fan. Now, let me let me just point something out. Here's the big deal that everyone's really going about. It's the fact that take the sync off, right? And if you look here, you have pitch control. Sorry, that's the volume. Where's the damn pitch that they were talking about here? Oh, right there. You just like. So I just, I'm clicking it and I'm going up and down with my mouse, right? But here's the best part about that. Let's stop that for a second. Let's go up to the MIDI controls. And if you were to click right there, you could assign that to be on a fader. So I don't really think there's anything on an SX2 you're going to map out for this. But there is a bunch of things out there. I mean, a bunch of Novation products that have sliders and things like that. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, like, you know, the, uh, the launch control and um, any of these things, right? But so you could take a secondary controller all day long, map things out. So you got pitch control over each one of these things. So I think the hip hop guys and the scratch guys, they're going to enjoy this the most. Um, for the techno guys and stuff, I don't know. Because, you know what, I have four decks. I can run little loops on the fly. And that's the biggest, biggest mistake of these guys right here. Is that I have no way, at least there's no way that I know of, and there's no way that they've made very apparent and told many people for me to be able to capture a loop on the fly. You know what I mean? Like, let me see if I can, you know, I've heard of someone saying that, oh, you can just make a loop and then drag it over. But I don't think so. find something here anything okay so I've got this thing on a loop I'm just going to take this and try to drag it over into a, a deck but look what it did it brought the whole song in it didn't just bring the loop but we're going to see how that works anyways take off that MIDI mode we get the sync going here. That wasn't even the right one anyways. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That must be the seventh one. Well, that worked. The 
big question is going to be, did I make a loop or I don't think so. I think I just literally put the whole song in there. Yep, it's just put the whole song in. But you know what? That could be an interesting way to mix too because you, you have basically, let me just turn this stuff down here. So basically, I guess in this sense here, that you could literally load up eight songs with your other four and you could have all those tracks going, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to do it, but you could make some interesting stuff happen. Anyways, um, that's kind of enough about the whole sampler thing. Um, that's basically the only big difference, really. You know, as for the sub crates and all that other stuff, uh, no one really cares about that. You know, we've been working with crates forever now. They've worked fine. I don't need to sort things by one, then another, and all this sub sorting. It's not necessary for me. Anyways, you know what? That's it. Um, like I said, it is a beta. They tell you not to use it. I'm going to use it anyways. Um, let me show you a little secret here. This is a little trick. So when I um, let's close this down here, let's see if we can get a finder window going here. Come on, finder window. And check this out. So I didn't want to wipe out my old Serato, obviously, right? So one of the things I did right here was I made, that's my, I call this Serato DJ1 because that's my actual Serato that I'm going to run. And then I made a Serato DJ. So that way when I go in here and I'll close this up here, we'll take a look. See, 1.9.3. Of course, I want to exit. Thanks for asking. And then when we open up our... Uh, our applications here. And let's open up DJ1. And what you're going to see here is this is going to be the 1.9.2, the stable one. As you can see right there, version 1.9.2. So yeah, so if you want to have both on there, that's kind of the, how you do it so you don't wipe one out. And um, that's it. If you stuck around this long, thanks for sticking around. And uh, please subscribe, share the video out. Sorry it was longer than I expected. I will talk to you guys, well, not too much later, but sometime fairly soon. Later.